Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Microsoft launched a new Windows Roadmap site, which is where you can basically find out about the new and upcoming features of Windows 11. And the Roadmap site um, is more designed to address challenges faced by users and IT professionals uh, in understanding the status of different features being tested or rolled out. But I think your average home user will also um, get some benefit out of this site. So as an example, if you are a Windows Insider, it's a handy way to keep track of the rollout and availability of new features. And for others, it can provide a relatively reliable way to monitor what Microsoft is working on. And for Microsoft, it's also a way to gather feedback. Now, the launch of the Windows Roadmap um, was announced on the Windows RT Pro blog uh, recently. And the Windows Roadmap provides estimated release dates and descriptions for features being released. So that's more or less what the site is all about. Now, Microsoft has said that the Windows Roadmap, this update to the actual hub, is a step forward in increasing transparency. And on the roadmap, you can find information on Windows 11 improvements and features, as we can see, that are in preview, gradually rolling out, generally available. So I've currently got all that's pop into preview. There's some of those in preview with the preview available date, gradually rolling out. These are already starting to roll out to 24H2 and 23H2, support gamepad navigation of support keyboard, removal of the location history feature. These are features that have just become available in the latest optional, optional bug fix series update that I posted on earlier today. And I will um, leave that link down below in the description. And yes, improving CPU calculation. That's all in that recent update to 24H2. And if we choose all, we can have for insiders in the Canary, the dev and the beta channel, and then just for retail, and then all, obviously all the features rolling out across the board. And so you get the idea, you've got a couple of options, which I think is great. And within the roadmap, you can also find different instructions on how to access new features improvements before they're enabled by default in your region. But just take note though, that Microsoft does say, uh, that the features on the Windows roadmap are subject to change and could be cancelled or delayed at any point. So this is very similar to what we get with the Insider program. And the roadmap is also only available for the client version of Windows 11, meaning it doesn't, meaning at this stage, it doesn't cover other editions of Windows like Windows Server. So just take note of that. And I'll leave this roadmap site where you can view the latest productivity, security, and reliability updates for Windows 11 linked in the description if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.